um, we have metals that are used in illegal mining of Galamse, now making it difficult for them to treat water. Even more so, the metals that seem to remain in water that is also given to all of us in homes in those communities where we live in. So if you live in Cape Coast, you also uh, seem to be along the channel as well. Uh, you, you are in the Western region, you should be worried as well. Uh, we have metals in them. And the concern from researchers in public health is that we're likely gonna have chronic issues for kidney, liver, etc., because of the filtration of water that we have in homes because of Galamsey. You remember the president, Nanadu Dankwe Kufuado, and um, the, the government alongside the vice president, who currently is the flag bearer of the MPP, all promised to rate the country or reduce the barriers minimum, the impact of Galamsey on our water bodies and our vegetative cover, our forests largely. We seem to have failed on that. So we'll be discussing them on big issues. And then how do we make sure that our language is temperate when we are talking about what needs to be done prior to election 2024? You might have heard whether it's a concerns being raised uh, about the language, whether it's coming from a number of individuals. So we're discussing the language. How should we comport ourselves, use the right language to ensure that we have national cohesion for this election? So uh, alongside, as you think about that, Johnny Hughes will come your way. And then uh, for the, this morning segment, we'll ask a critical question. As you know, Cheda uh, Nana Bediako, uh, has already outlined his 12th pillar uh, economic freedom policy. And so Nana Kwame Bediakon uh, just yesterday evening unveiled that. What do you make of it? So that's, well, that would be a question of the day. While you take a look at that and trying to ponder what responses you give to us, know that we have started a great month, just in case you haven't been paid or you've been paid, you've already used your, your, your salary or how much you earn. You can earn more with cash out, star 439 hash. And let's have some great time. Let me say good morning to uh, Sahinaza Mustafa, great lady, great, beautiful lady as well. And then also Reina. Uh, are with me. Good morning to you lovely ladies. I wish you all the best and I hope that you have a great week and a great month as well. But in the meantime, let's bring you this morning segment. We're asking the 12th pillar economic policy by Nana Kwame Bediakum. What do you make of it? The apostolic governance, the 12 ministries. I mean, apostolic governance, it's, it's a title, it's some title right here. But it's the 12 ministries. They say less is more. Our government will be the leanest, most efficient in the history of African politics. We present to you the apostolic governance, one president, 12 ministers create a lean government that will be responsible for the 12 pillars among others you also said we're going to de-westernize our education and the curricula that's a great thing and then um he's worried about the galamsey situation the poisoning of our various re river bodies and water bodies as well and um now also um, he also says that the voter uh, the voter registration must be open and accessible so long as a citizen turns 18. So prior to the election, I think that's a good thing as well, because even up to the last minute, if there are new entries, we should allow it at least a week or two before that. It makes a lot of sense to, than just hedging people or capping. It makes and then the, the 12 apostolic. Fantastic. Almost like the 12 disciples. Right. And um, well. Shadrach Abbe, uh, our lead producer for the morning, will be saying that he sides with this. <laughs> but it's also the birthday of one of our lead um, cameramen right here. He's also a reverend minister, Reverend Andy Ejekum in Tiamwa. Great man of God, but also a great person to work with. We wish you all the best right here with the whole team and the rest of your family. But please, the lines are open. What do you make of the 12 economic policy directions that... Nana Kwame Bidiakum, a.k.a. Cheddar, 
has outlined, and we know that he's the face of the new force, or the third force, so to speak. And the lines are open. Let's hear from you. Let's also uh, get to know what you think about governing Ghana with a 12th minister. It is possible. I think so. We're able to do that. It is something that can be accomplished as quickly as possible. Everything is um, able to be accomplished once you put your mind to it. And um, uh, he's also going to build 12 multifunctional sports academies across all the 16 regions. So 12 multifunctional um, ac academies in sports across the 16 regions. So to churn out sports and talent as well. Please, the phone lines are open. What do you make of um, Cheddar uh, or Nana Kwame Bidiakum? Uh, Sulemana, good morning. Where are you calling us from? Sulemana? Yes, sir. Yeah, good morning. Salam alaikum. All right. Difficulty get, get an interaction in there, please. Um, the phone lines are open. What do you make of um, Nana Kwame Bediakon's uh, new outline uh, of policies as part of his uh, galvanizing the voter population for election 2024? And again, uh, whilst um, you wait to call in, please make sure that you cash out star 439 hash. And with star 439 hash, you choose option two. And then subsequently, you increase the number of tickets. You increase the number of chances you have when we do the draws. And uh, we have Freeman. Freeman, where are you calling us from? I'm calling from Afienya. Afienya, oh, okay. Just right here after the motorway. Please, what do you make of Cheddar? Nana Kwame Bediakun's new outline. 12, 12 ministers uh, for. Good morning, uh, Roland. Yes, please. How are you doing? I'm well. Please go ahead. Uh, okay. Uh, yesterday, I listened to him a while. And I know that the guy has a serious brain. Like the ideas of the. Uh, his ideas that he's bringing out. It's very, very good. It will help the country. It will help the youth. Mm. It will change our country. But I'm not sure that this time he's going to make it. Yes, if I get, I'll vote for him. I'll vote for him because his idea will help the youth. Mm. But we should, should give us a small time. Thank you. You will vote for him, but you want him to give us some time. Yes, because I'm not sure that he can make it. He can... He can he can make it this time. Okay, it you don't. Difficult. Okay, you don't think yes, that he's going to get. His ideas are very good. Okay. His ideas are very, very good, and it will help the nation, to help the country. But I'm not sure that he can make it through this year. Yes, yes. All right, we have Collins also on the line. Collins, where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm calling from Bolivia. Oh. Uh, good morning to you, Collins. What do you make of um, Nana Kwame Bediakun's uh, new policy initiatives? Uh, for example, 12 ministers to govern Ghana and then also a number of initiatives. He says we need to de-westernize our education uh, that we have, which is westernized, he says. What do you make of it, Collins? Well, after listening to him yesterday, I feel very happy for a young guy like him planning to rule Ghana with only 12 ministers. I mm. think that would to help save more money for the youth and create jobs for the youth. Mm. And more of, uh, when you look at his manifesto, it was straightforward and it outlined what and what he will, he will want to do. Mm. Uh, so when, when you look at it, after the end of his manifesto, his phone is following. Okay. Then from your own, the third manifesto. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So, so how do you read the manifestos again, Collins? Yeah, I said, when you want to read it, the end of his manifesto comes first. Followed by Cheddar, then every manifesto with the third one. You are here. Thank you very much. And then uh, we have Swali. Good morning to you. Uh, good morning, Mr. Roland. Yes, sir. Where are you calling us from? Uh, I'm calling from Tamale. Oh, that's a bar. Mm, yeah, now, nah, Tamasum. Uh, Kaula. Uh, please, go but, ahead. Yeah, uh, go <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, what I just want to say is that. Uh, yes, sir. Nana, Nana, Daddy, I could should also stop joking like Baumia. Oh. Well, this this our twenty twenty this our twenty twenty four election we are not going to joke oh. it's not a joke so you should also stop joking like Baumia. because I hear some pitch and they ask Baumia question and say he was joking. And so this country is not for joke oh. So you should also stop joking now. That's what I just want to say. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Roland. Hey mm. Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning uh, to you and thank you for calling. Please, the phone lines are still open. Cheddar, 
that's uh, his alliance. But we have uh, Nana Kwame Bidiako. Uh, he's leading uh, the new force and says that 12 pillar economic policy already announced and Raymond is next to contribute. Raymond, where are you calling us from? Raymond. Raymond. I'm, ca I'm calling from Navrongo. You are calling from the Green Book? Navrongo. Navrongo. Uh, Navrongo. Okay, good morning to you. Please go ahead, Raymond. Yeah, listen to the young guy. She might have brilliant ideas. Okay. But we are in a situation that we don't need. <coughs> I'm saying that. Uh, hello. Please go ahead. Listen to the guy. He might have brilliant ideas, but not now. We are in a serious situation. As a nation, we need somebody who can rescue this country. We need somebody who can rescue this country. We are in a mess. Come to the Bongo and see. The farmers, <clears throat> it isn't that the rain has destroyed our air. We do not experience drought. But the fertilizer that is supposed to be available for the farmers, okay. it's not there. Mm. They brought fertilizer and share it among party members. Hey. They are registering people now. Are you sure? Registering people. When we do not experience drought, it is to aid the Greek minister. All right. Well, we'll take the last call up. Uh, let me say good morning to Mama War of um, the Asogli uh, State. Good morning to you, Mama War. But uh, we already have uh, the last call up. Good, good morning. What's your name? Godwin. Yes, of Arab land. Yeah. Dominic. Minerals. You're Dominic. Minerals. Okay. Dominic. Yeah. Yeah, there's one thing I want to say is like, this youth, we are tired of these two parties, this MPP and NDC. Right. And the veil has been revealed, right? Mm -hmm. And you are going to change the government now. You are not going to wait for another four years or no, you are going to change the government now. So we are on the street advertising about this new force policies and we believe in this policy. It's, it's a long-term policy. You know? well, okay.